Hello and welcome back. I'm continuing my climb to 1000 ELO on chess.com. So I got to 730 from the last game and let's hope we can um, continue the win streak. I'm going to start a new rapid game. Play our standard cow opening. Not a whole lot of deviation here. This is a really strange opening from him. Um, okay, that's like hyper aggressive. Um, I think I'll just try to kick his bishop there. Okay, basically wasted a move there. The one thing that I've been noticing from my previous games as I'm reviewing them is that I get a really early castle out on the king side and then the rook knight and bishop tend to um, not get developed so the one thing that I'm going to aim for this game is just to get some development going a lot sooner that's fine I'm willing to trade here if he wants. Okay, capture with the knight or capture with the queen. I'm gonna go with the queen capture here. My knight's developed, so I don't wanna kick him back anymore. Again, I wanna continue my development. I'm, I'm really tempted to move here to c5 with my knight, but I really want to get uh, my castle going. Normally, or no, this actually would be a bad idea to take this. Never mind. I'm just going to go ahead and castle. Hmm. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. I could mess up his pawn structure here. Let's see. E4 takes, 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 takes. So I'd have stacked pawns there on E4 and E3. I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to move him back. It's a really awkward spot, but the knight can just jump to f2 um, if needed. I definitely don't want that. Hmm. I wonder if I should push the g pawn. Should I push the G pawn? I do have two defenders, but it's gonna really weaken my castle here and expose the king quite a bit. Hmm. Is F4 the play? I'd like to keep these three pawns connected Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm just going to block with the pawn. It's kind of a tough choice there. I wasn't really sure which move to go for there. Hmm. Maybe I should just push. All of these moves are very bad. <laughs> I think I'm just going to push. I know that looks a little bit crazy. I think he's going to push this pawn.
And my pawn structure is just really awkward at the moment. I haven't had good defenders for my pawns. He has two attacking pieces on e4, so I don't really want to take here. And I have none. I have nothing to defend it with. Again, I know this This is really bad pawn structure here. Um, that's a free piece from what I can tell. Oh, that's a bishop trade, never mind. He has a really strong pawn chain. It's going to be a bit difficult to deal with that. I'd like to defend this pawn, if at all possible. I guess it is defended with the rook, huh? Maybe I should just connect the pawns. Really, really, really awkward position. This pawn is undefended, it's hanging. It's the only one of his pieces that are hanging at the moment. Except I don't really have a great way to get over there. Hmm. I think I have to just start trading pieces. Um, so if he goes here, this is defended. If he goes here, this is defended. So I'm not too worried about this. I did not mean to do that. That was a misclick. That was actually a misclick. That was horrible. Let's see if we can make it work, though. That was horrible. <laughs> that was really bad. He's probably confused now. He probably thinks I have some grand plan, but he probably doesn't realize that that was just a bad click. My finger slipped. Accidents happen, yeah. <laughs> I guess I can just try to attack his queen if he <laughs> captures with the knight, I'll just take. <laughs> That's really bad. Uh. He probably thought that was part of my grand plan. <laughs> he kind of weakened his pawn structure there. That's interesting. Um, I think that was a bad move on his part. I can just defend that. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that. He had a... Uh, four pawn chain going and he gave it up i'm playing really slow i'm talking too much as usual i'm thinking slow i guess that's my crux that opens up the c file for this i'll probably go here or here or maybe here or here I like this idea that I had going earlier. Knight g4, 
takes takes. And now the H file is actually open for me. If he captures here, I'm actually fine to just take with the with the rook on F on the F file. Maybe I'm not. I do have check. I have check and then I can take his pawn here. I can't quite get checkmate with the queen yet. So I can take with the rook. I'd like to protect my knight. I feel like he's been pretty valuable on my king side so far. I can take his pawn now too. I do still need to respect this though. He does have a knight to g4, knight to h2 move, checkmate. But removing this would be good. I do, I do need an extra defender on h2 though. Interesting. I don't think that was the play for him. He wants to trade. I think I'm actually willing to trade here. Hmm. No, I can't do that. Hmm. I'll just go for the trade. May have been a misplay there. Mm. Okay. I don't know, that's a bad move. Um, let's see what to do. I'm willing to trade knights here. Well, we're pretty much even. Hmm. What does that do?
He's not using his rooks enough. I think he's trying to go for like a pass pawn situation, but I don't think he's using his rooks enough. I'm really low on time. I definitely need to play faster. I hope he just checks me and I take. I'll probably go here. Uh, yeah, he's kind of focused on the wrong thing at the moment, in my opinion. I think this is kind of a waste of time. It's protected. I think he has to go here. If he goes here, I'm gonna put my rook on g6. Yeah. It's a bit awkward. I think it's the wrong move, but. I'm just going to trade here. Um, probably going to lose on time. It's a bit unfortunate. Uh, it's a bummer. I think I had checkmate in there somewhere. I just couldn't find it. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. I I'm willing to bet that I had made. I think I had the advantage the whole time there. Uh, I played pretty bad. <laughs> I played at 57% accuracy and 550 game rating. Uh, I'm mostly just curious about the end game. What I could have done. Let's see. What could I have done a little bit differently? So I should have taken with the bishop there. That would f force him to move this back. Yeah, the pawn structure here was a little bit weird. So that was a good move. That was a good move. Felt like this was the right move. Trying to take his bishop. I, I knew he would do that. I didn't quite understand why taking his pawn was the best move there. I thought he could have just went here. I guess afterwards I could have moved my pawn to h6 and that would have been protected Oh, I didn't see that. Right, 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 right. He wouldn't be able to take g7. Right, so at that point, this is his only move. And then what would I have to do here? Something like this. Oh, pawns the play. This, okay, then what would he do? Hmm. push right that would give him checkmate I push oh move backwards hmm. yeah a lot of mistakes there a lot of mistakes um, overall I feel like I played okay I think I could have won this one granted he did get a passed pawn maybe I should have just forgotten about the pawn 
uh, protecting the pawn with my rook and just try to block him here. Maybe that would have been the better play. It's just an idea. Um, I want to see one more part of the review. So this was a good move. Maybe I did have mate somewhere in here. That was a good move. That was a good move. Even though it wanted me to push the rook. I see. So instead of trading there, it wanted me to protect the knight. That makes sense. So we just traded there. Moving the knight to f5 instead. Hmm. Yeah, I just couldn't see the continuation after this. So he jumps to h6. I jump to e7. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I did okay there. Lost some elo. Um, let's do a puzzle. Or let's do a couple puzzles. Okay, black to move. Let's see, takes. Nope, that's not the play. Be queen here takes. No, that can't be it. Mm, I guess there's any like, there's a number of variations that work here. Rookie one takes. Rook e1 takes. No, that's not enough. I'd have to sack the queen on one of these. I wonder if it matters which one. Uh, so takes on a1, recapture a1. Rook e1 takes. Rook e1, checkmate. Darn. I don't quite follow why that really why the position of that really matters. I mean it's the same idea. I don't really get why um it matters which rook you capture there first. But it's okay, let's try another one. Let's see. Rook d1 king h2 Seems reasonable so far. We also have bishop d4. Seems a bit better. And then he can't escape on the second rank. Yeah, good. Uh, this is checkmate. These are covered. Yeah, nice. Pass rate 35%, I'm surprised. I think most people are probably just tempted to throw the rook on d1 there first. Um, let's see. Knight b6 recaptures. Yeah, there it is. Really? No way. I thought knight b6 takes. 
rook a3 is just checkmate. I guess not. Interesting. It's a bit more straightforward. Let's try one more. Yeah, probably queen c8 here. Really? It's a bummer. Nice. I'll do one more. Let's see, let's see. Uh, this seems natural. Uh, yeah, I think this is just a play. Uh, bishops guarding the dark square diagonal there. Is that right? Oh, right. Queen takes. So probably this. Yeah, there we go. Now I don't want to end it on a loss. Let's do one more. I'm having fun with these. Let's see here, maybe. Maybe here. No. Maybe here. D2. No, this seems like the play. Nice. That one's pretty easy. Basically just protect the third file so the king can't go backwards. He would basically be forced to move up. And then these two squares, or these three squares are protected. Makes sense. Cool. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the game. And see you guys next time.